So here we are again, and today we are looking at adding equal groups. Adding equal groups, so the first, we're just going to roll straight into it today. So we're looking at equal, they mean that equal means the same as, the groups are the same size. All the things that are in the same group, they have to be equal, they have to be the same number of them. So we're going to quickly start, we're going to crack on. And the first thing is we're going to look at these pots. And there we're going to first, the question is, there are blank plants in each pot. So we're just going to look at one plant. We're just going to look at one plant. Let's look at this one here. Look at this one here. And how many plants are in that pot? We've got one, we've got two, and we've got three. Now all of the all of the groups are equal today. There's no trick questions, okay? So there are three plants in each pot. The second part, there are how many pots? How many pots are there? There are one, two, three, four pots. There are four pots. And so the last part is, there are how many equal groups of something? So we're going to have a quick look here. So there are one, two, three, four. Four equal groups, and each of those groups has three in it. So it's one, two, three, four of three, 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 and three. So we have there are four equal groups of three. There are four equal groups of three. Can you say that? There are equal groups of, there are equal groups of, and it's really important that they're equal. So we're going to look at the adding part. So we know there are four equal groups of three and we've got really good at that. So now we're going to look and what we can do is we can put the number of plants that are in each pot into this box. So, and if we need to, we can add on on the number line, we can do some jumps as well. So there are three in this first pot, three in the first pot, and that's why we've jumped on three on the number line. Then there are three in the second pot, and we've jumped another three on the number line. Three in the third pot, and that's why we've jumped another three on the number line there and three in the last pot, which makes us land on the number 12. So just to go over that again, there were three in the first pot, we jumped on three, three in the next pot, and we jumped on three, three in the next pot, we jumped on three, and three in the last pot, we jumped on three. Don't worry about the number line disappearing behind me because we didn't need it anyway. Okay, so that we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we had 12. Okay, the second one, this is our, we're only going to do two examples today just to get through it. Um, this one, there are how many fish in each tank? So well, let's just pick this last tank again. We're going to count the fish in that tank. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six fish in each tank. There are six fish in each tank. How many tanks are there? Hold up how many fingers there are. How many tanks there are on your fingers, sorry. How many tanks there are on your fingers? There are three tanks. One, two, three. I can count them on my screen. Now, one, two, three tanks. So there are three equal groups of six. There are three equal groups of six. And again, what we're going to do is we're going to write that number sentence out. I'm going to write that number sentence out. And I've drawn the little boxes here just to help us. You won't have those in your book, but I'm sure you'll be fine. 
I'm sure you'll be fine. Or your grown-up might want to help you draw those boxes just to help you. And so there's the number lines. There are three equal groups of six. In the first tank, we have six. So we've jumped on six on the number line. Then in the second tank, there are six more. So we jump on again. And then in the last tank, there are six more. So we're jumping on again just to just up. Use my other hand just there, look, just there, and this number just here is the number 18. It's the number 18, so that is our total. Okay, so that is our total. So now it's over to you. It might be a little bit tricky, so you can always watch it again, watch the clip again if you need to. Okay, so. Here's your first question. Here's your first question. So it will there are these bags of apples. How many are in each bag? And how many bags? So there are four equal groups of five. So what I want you to do, you don't have to draw the number line. If it helps you, then please do. Okay, you don't have to draw it. If you want to use counters or cubes or whatever you have at home, then that's also fine. And But it's also helpful to write down the number sentence. That's what I'm really looking for today is to write down the number sentence. And this sentence here, this sentence here might need an adult to write it and you fill in the gaps. There are blank equal groups of blank. So there are, I can't tell you the answers for this one. I know I just did, but hopefully you understand. Okay, so good luck. I look forward to seeing it in your books.